Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lisa Schwartz with the Breast Cancer Collective and I wanted to talk about um, HER2. This is something that if you're new to breast cancer, this may be a little bit confusing for you. So I wanted to sort of clarify what it meant to be HER2 positive. Now if you're an old hand at this, you um, may already know what HER2 is and you may have gotten Herceptin and um, but this still may be useful for you. Anyway, um, most breast cancer patients know a few things about their cancer. One is their stage. Second is whether or not it's hormone positive, ERPR positive or not. And the third is whether or not it's HER2 positive. And the reason that most breast cancer patients know these things, and if you don't, you should probably ask your doctor those three questions. The, the reason they know these things is because they have an impact on the treatment that's recommended for you. So um, stage certainly determines uh, how aggressive your treatment needs to be. ERPR positivity determines whether or not you get hormone blockers. And HER2 determines whether or not you get the medicine Herceptin. Now, what exactly is HER2? HER2 is an oncogene. And oncogenes are genes that make things that make cancers more aggressive or that promote the development of a cancer. So what the HER2 gene does is it produces a protein that sits on the um, surface of breast cancer cells and most all breast cancer cells have this protein, this receptor. But in patients that are HER2 positive, the gene that makes that receptor is over amplified or amplified or overexpressed. And so there are too many copies of that gene and therefore too much of that protein gets made. And when too much of that protein is available, it makes the breast cancer cell more aggressive. So when HER2 is overexpressed or amplified, there's too much of the HER2 protein and those breast cancers tend to be a little bit more aggressive. So that's the downside. The upside is that we have a very specific targeted medicine for this condition and it's called Herceptin. And Herceptin targets that protein that sits on the uh, surface of breast cancer cells and prevents the protein from making the cell more aggressive. Okay, so anybody that's HER2 positive meaning that the gene is amplified or overexpressed. If you're HER2 positive, you'll get a year of Herceptin. That's pretty much standard therapy right now. Um, so how do you know if you're HER2 positive or not? Well, every biopsy specimen that turns out to be breast cancer also gets tested for HER2. And the first test that we do is uh, something, it's just a stain that the pathologist does. It's called immunohistochemical staining, or IHC. And the pathologist looks at the uh, amount of staining on a particular sample and decides if it's 1+, plus, 2+, plus, or 3+. Plus. 3+, plus is that it's definitely HER2 positive. 2+, plus is sort of borderline. And so usually patients that have this indeterminate IHC staining will go on to have another test. And that test is usually a FISH test, F-I-S-H, and that stands for fluorescent in situ hybridization. And in that test, we actually take a look at the genes. So you can look at the specific genes and see if the HER2 gene is amplified or overexpressed. Um, so that is a much more definitive test, but not everyone needs that test. So that is how we determine whether or not patients are HER2 positive. Now, what are the treatments that we have? Well, you all know about Herceptin, and that is by far the most common treatment for HER2 positive breast cancer. But there are some other drugs out there that target the same type of receptor, and they are sometimes used in metastatic breast cancer. They're sometimes used in other cancers that also express HER2. Um, so you've got Herceptin or Trastuzumab is the generic name for it. You've got uh, Pertuzumab and Lapatinib. Those are the ones that are most common. Now Cadcycla is an interesting medicine in that it is Herceptin combined with a chemotherapy drug. And Cadcycla is being used right now in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer. 
So there's a lot of potential there for the treatment of this um, oncogene, okay, and the protein that it makes. So that's it. HER2 is um, an oncogene that makes a protein, and that protein tends to make breast cancers a little bit more aggressive. The good news is that we have a very targeted therapy for this. And thirdly, every breast cancer should be tested for HER2, and it's probably something that you should know about your cancer, okay? I hope this has cleared things up for you, and leave some comments below to let me know what questions and comments that you have. Thanks.